I've been thinking a whole lot here lately about just how much I truly appreciate this over 70, over 80 group of content creators here on YouTube. I think those of us who have reached this milestone in our lives and have made the choices to put ourselves out there for the world to see and to watch us age is something that should be applauded. And I want to give all of these beautiful 70 plus aging women a shout out today. Many of you already know that when I started my channel 11-ish years ago, I really was the oldest person here on YouTube in the beauty community, what I call now my beauty girls. I was the oldest. I was 68. I knew that I was not content to be depending on younger women thinking they knew how I wanted to look and how I wanted to act and what I wanted to do with my life. I decided to start my channel and I never made any bones about my age. I was always honest about it. And almost immediately, I realized that in those, well, in those early days, so many of those comments came from the 20-year-olds, the 30-year-olds, the 40-year-olds who said that they were so afraid of aging because in their minds, they saw women who were close to them, maybe their grandmothers, their aunts, their teachers, their neighbors, as just letting themselves go and sort of riding off into the sunset. And as I later did a video about that calling Becoming Beige. And for those of you who haven't seen that video, I will link that video in the description box below the show more. And I'll make sure that it's in the very first comment under this video. So that when you go to leave your comment, you can read that one first. So they're telling me, thank you. Thank you for taking that fear away. When I first started my channel, I was 68, and there were just a small handful of women in their 60s. And since then, it has just, that's that 60-ish, year old group of content creators here on YouTube, that group has just exploded. And as I look at those of us who are actually over 70, including me, there's probably 12 that I know of for a fact. And I'm going to, in a minute, I'm going to talk about those women because I want to make sure that if you're watching me because you relate to me and my age group, then I think some of some of these maybe you haven't found yet. And I think you would want to go over and look at their channels and, and just see how we all are aging in this 70 plus group. And, and the re main reason I started th this group at the 70 and over is because I think we I truly believe every single one of us would tell you that something happens. Something happens when you turn 70. You think you know it before then. You think you see it coming. At 68, I thought, oh, yeah, mm -hmm, I know, I've got this, I've got this. At 68, my skin was still pretty good. Had a few wrinkles, a little bit of sagging, but not very much. And I thought I had this aging thing, both appearance-wise and mental and my soul. I thought I had that licked. And when I turned 70, I realized I didn't. I just recently turned 80. I don't know. But I know that I know so much more than I did in my 60s. So that's why I started this at 70. And I think the other 11 of my sister 70-year-plus creators 
would tell you the same thing. There is a maturity that comes. We still want to be outwardly the very best person we can be. For the most part, we're not trying to look 10 years younger. We just want to be the best on the outside and on the inside that we can be. And we hope that those of you who are younger and coming up, that we can help you in this aging process. We have one creator who is 86. I truly believe that it won't be long before the 70 and 80 group explodes also. All of those from 60 are moving into it. Those of us who are already 80 and 90, I, I mean, I think we're going to see, and I, in my lifetime, I really do believe that I am going to see content creators in this much older group still filming, editing, posting videos well into their 90s and above, maybe. Finally, maybe we're taking that stigma out of aging, or at least we're helping to remove that stigma that we just have to become beige and fade into the sunset. No, we don't. Before I share this group of awesome women with you, I want to tell you what I love the most about the group as a whole. Number one is we keep it real. We're through with all that stuff. We're letting you see the real us. We're real. Every single one of us. For us, it's about being the person we want to be. We're learning that it's never too late. It's never too late to learn. It's never too late to grow. I've told you before, when I started my channel, I did not know. I, I, I knew nothing. I knew nothing about filming, certainly nothing about editing. Getting something, even on the YouTube platform, I knew nothing. How I did it, I don't know, but you know what? I did it. I did it. And I've patted myself on the back many times for being able to do it. Whether it's learning new ways to wear our hair, new ways to wear our eyeliner, if we choose to wear eyeliner, our blush, our lipstick, foundation, no foundation, our style, our fashion, barefaced, full glam, we can do it. I think every one of those of us over 70 checked our egos a long time ago. Some of us have chosen not to do anything to our faces. We've made the choice just to age. And there are others in our group who have made different decisions about what they've done. We've had facelifts in our group. We've had fillers. We've had procedures. We've had lots of things. And that's okay because we each get to make those decisions for ourselves. And aren't we lucky that we're living in a place and a time when we can make those choices for ourselves. I think, too, that each and every one of us, I think we're just excited about the years that are coming ahead of us. I mean, we're excited about our futures. We know that our past is our past. We've learned from our past. We've had good times. We've had bad times. We've been overjoyed, and yet we've had to, we've had to experience grief. But we've learned, and we're excited about our future. We're excited to learn about the technology that's coming that for some of us, we're going to want to keep up with with our channels. Some of us don't, are not interested in doing things with our channels other than just sitting in front of our cameras and talking. That's what's so wonderful about the 70 plus group, okay? In no particular order, I'm going to tell you the 12 channels that I'm just positive 
are over 70. And just tell you a little bit about each one, just in case you haven't found them yet. I know that I don't know every single person in this lifestyle beauty community who is over 70. I was fooled by one of them, and I'll tell you who it is in a minute, but I don't know. So I may have, by mistake, or because I didn't know, left someone off. And if you're in this community, and you're over 70, and I didn't name you, please send me an email and let me know. I'm going to make this list a permanent part of my description box, my show more box, and that first comment under every video so that your name will be there. And if you turn 70 at some point, let me know and I'll add your name to that list. I have my list. And in no particular order, except for number one, I chose to talk about her first because to my knowledge, she is our oldest. Many of you know Nanny from Nanny and the Moose, Crushing Their 80s is the name of the channel. Okay, just in case you don't know about Nanny and the Moose, let's just, the Moose is awesome. He's, he's awesome. But the channel truly is about Nanny. She's 84. They have traveled the world. They have children, grandchildren. I mean, I can't keep up with the numbers, but a lot, a lot to be proud of. As I said, they've traveled the world raising their family, and they've settled in Southern California, living in an adobe cottage, tiny, tiny cottage that is over a hundred years old. And they are adorable. I've learned so much from Nanny. If you have not seen their channel, I hope you'll go over. They keep it real. Number two, and again, from here on in no particular order, is uh, again someone with a very large channel. She's Margaret Manning from 60 and Me. And Margaret, many of you know, I'm sure, uh, Margaret has a website that she keeps up and she is prolific here on YouTube. I think you will love Margaret Manning. Some of you will remember that I did a giveaway for some of her affirmation cards for aging women. Mm, yes, Margaret Manning. Someone who is relatively new to this uh, YouTube creator community is Sandra Sailing. And Sandra lives in California also and is married, and Sandra's very active also on Instagram. I follow her over on Instagram also. And Sandra is an artist, an accomplished artist, and I had no idea. I think Sandra did some acting also. You've probably seen some of her work. Sandra Salen, Palm Springs Cindy. I'm pretty sure Cindy has been creating content here on YouTube almost as long as I have. Cindy lives, obviously, in Palm Springs. When Cindy first started her channel, she was married, and we got to learn all about her life. Cindy became divorced, and I think Cindy, all of a sudden, started appealing to a whole new group of women, single women, and Cindy is out there. She is dating. She is making it happen, girl. So if you're not watching Cindy on Palm Springs Cindy, go over and check Cindy out. One of my favorite people in the whole wide world is Kay Carter. And Kay's channel name is Kay Carter Daily Dose of Encouragement. Kay's been on YouTube again almost as long as I have. Kay started out really, Kay's in Georgia. Kay started her channel doing makeup reviews and talking about makeup and clothing and that type of thing. But she was always so motivational. She was always saying little things to us in every video that would lift us. I know they did me. And she slowly transitioned her channel to a motivational, not, I won't even say a motivational, but an encouragement channel. 
Her videos are super short, just a few minutes. I say whether you need it or not, go over and check Kay out. She is just, just pure delight. She will give you your daily dose of encouragement. Number six, we're down to number six out of 12. Number six is Sandra Hart with Life Over 60 with Sandra. What can I say about Sandra? I know many of you, most of you, already watched Sandra. Sandra, I'm not sure how many years Sandra has been here on YouTube, but I would say five or six. And Sandra, for many of you, our age especially, would remember the show Romper Room. Sandra was the teacher on Romper Room. And I know that Sandra has done some acting also. Again, Sandra's channel first started out similar to Kay's and that she was doing more, more makeup and skincare and fashion. At some, and, at, and at some point, Sandra really felt her calling was in motivation. And Sandra just, she just is a great motivator. Really great with life lessons. So I encourage you to, if you haven't, if there's any chance that you haven't found Sandra yet, go over and find her. The next one, number seven, again, she's been around almost, there was a little group of us that, I, I started first and then this small group started after I did and they're still creating videos. And the next one is Carol from the old Carol show. All right, what can I say about Carol? Oh. I always thought that I was the gadget queen, but I concede to Carol. Carol, when Carol first started her channel, she was living in Las Vegas. And a few years ago, she moved in the LA area. And she has been an, uh, an extra on some, uh, in some movies, I think. But Carol is just one of those creators here on YouTube who tries a zillion different things. She tries a lot of off-brand products. She has her own little jewelry line. She makes bracelets and jewelry, and she's just so much fun to watch. If you really want just to have a great time for a few minutes, check Carol out, The Old Carol Show. Number eight surprised me. I, it never occurred to me to include her in this 70 plus group. Again, don't hold me to it, but you know, seven or eight years probably. It's Mary Ellen from Mary Ellen Over 60. And the only reason I knew to include Mary Ellen in this group was because I was watching her latest video the other day and she mentioned that she was gonna be 70 the end of October. I had no idea. Mary Ellen has been using Retin-A and a, and a very set skincare routine for many years. And I'm telling you, her skin shows it. Her skin shows it. Mary Ellen's a gadget person, too. I will tell you that. She likes gadgets. So go check Mary Ellen out. Number nine is someone that I really don't know at all, but... I, I'm familiar with her channel. When I decided to do this video, I was searching for specific keywords, over 70, over 70 beauty, over, over 70. Janice in France popped up. And as I said, I don't know Janice. I've watched, did watch a couple of her videos and it's her life in France. And I think she's someone that you should check out for sure. Janice in France. Number 10, this creator has been, she's been on YouTube too for a number of years, and it's Thera from Most Joyful One. A few years ago, Thera was really uh, putting out a lot of videos, and then she sort of backed off for a little while, and she's back. So I hope, she's gorgeous, she's beautiful, Just go check her out. Number 11, and I can put my list down. <laughs> Number 11 is Diane Gilman. Now, I know that many, many of you know Diane Gilman. If you've watched the Home Shopping Network in this country, 
and maybe QVC in other countries. You know who Diane Gilman is. I, I, it, Diane, when she hit the 10 million pairs of jeans sold on Home Shopping, I remember the 10 million celebration. She may be 20 by now. I don't know, 20 million. Probably close to it if she's not there. Think about that. <laughs> it's it, it's mind-blowing, isn't it? In this past year or so, Diane made the choice to step away from her own air appearances. She's a breast cancer survivor, too. Has written a book. She's in New York. And she decided to start a YouTube channel. I think you'll love it. Diane also started a podcast, and I think you'll love that too. She has so much to offer. I think you will absolutely love her. I really do, especially if you've worn her jeans. I wore, I had a pair of her jeans on just yesterday. And then number 12 is me, and you know me, and so many of you know my story. You've watched my videos, and I appreciate each and every one of you. But here's the deal with this older group. We've lived so much life, and we've lived different lives. And there are so many things about us that are similar, and there are so many things about us that are totally different. We all bring different strengths to this community. And for this community to be growing the way it's growing and to continue to grow, a lot of it is up to you to support us. Watch our videos. Share our videos with your girlfriends, your sisters, your mothers, because with your support, we can, we can eliminate this ageism, ageism thing. We can show the world that the older woman needs to be reckoned with. We're here and we're here to stay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll be kind. I hope that you'll be kind to yourself first so that you can be kind to others later. Know that I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.